Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and hello if you are new, thank you so much for clicking on the video. So just before we get started into the video, I just wanted to tell you guys that in this video I will be doing a huge Charlotte Tilbury giveaway, which I've said that I'm going to do for quite a while and haven't actually got round to it because obviously Charlotte Tilbury products are quite expensive, so I've kind of been collecting them for a few months now to put in one big huge giveaway for you guys to so say thank you. I'm not going to do it right now, I'm going to talk more about it at the end of the video. So if you wanted to know a little bit more about the giveaway and how to enter and everything like that this is near enough 300 pounds worth of charlotte tilbury products so you probably should enter because you know you might win it so yeah i'm going to talk more about that at the end of the video so stay tuned if you want to know more about that i'm really excited for today's video because as you can already tell from the title today i'm going to be trying out and showing you the new charlotte tilbury icons palette so this is a limited edition palette from charlotte tilbury it's part of her summer collection and this palette was inspired by kind of like the 70s era I believe and kind of like David Bowie inspired because it's got the kind of like David Bowie um, lightning bolt sort of theme to it so yeah I'm going to be doing a kind of mini demo and review on this palette in today's video but yeah for the palette this is what the palette looks like on the front it's a very different style for Charlotte Tilbury like she usually doesn't really do anything too dramatic like this but yeah I do quite like the packaging I think it's quite nice so this is what the palette looks like inside and as you can see you get 12 shades there is two mattes in here and the rest are shimmers and obviously you can see here we've got a few like bold colours which again is quite different for Charlotte Tilbury. This palette in particular this actual palette here is brand new but I have actually tried the palette before um, once or twice so I do I am kind of familiar with the formula and how these work on the eyes. You do also get this little slip inside as well which tells you an easier way to use the palette and breaking it down so that it's easier for people to use. If you're someone that gets quite overwhelmed by looking at a palette and you don't really know sort of how to use it she has given you a kind of idea so basically she says that you can kind of go down in lines like this and you have day eyes here date eyes diva eyes and disco eyes so she says that you can kind of go down in a line and all of those colors will go together but to be honest I'm probably just going to mix and match today because I don't really like following guides like this I just feel like I'd rather do my own thing but that's always there if you didn't know sort of how to use the palette and what colors go with what I did also pick up two of the new um, latex lips which is also part of the icons collection so I am going to be showing you um, those at the end as well I got the shades Berry Nude and Belle de Soir so I'm going to be trying both or one of those on my lips at the end as well don't actually know what sort of look I want to go for today I'm just going to kind of wing it and then see what it turns out like and hopefully it looks nice so yeah let's get started as you can see, I've already done my base makeup, so I will put in the description box all of the products I used on my skin and eyebrows and everything like that, so if you was wondering, they're all going to be in the description box below. I just thought I'd rather focus on the palette and the lips for this video because I had nothing new to show you. So just to let you guys know, I have already put concealer and powder on my eyes to kind of prime my eyes, which is something that I always do with basically every eyeshadow that I use, so I'm just going to do my usual kind of routine and see how it works on top of that. I'm going to take the matte shade here. So as I said, there's only two mattes. There's this matte in the palette and this matte here. This is going to be more of a sort of warm brown transition shade. So I'm going to use that in the kind of crease area of my eyes, see how that works. I will say I did use the other matte shade in here, the red one before, um, when I tried it before. And it did go a little bit patchy on me. I'm not going to lie, but then I don't know if that's because I didn't prime my eye correctly. These eyeshadows as well can be used wet or dry and they do almost have that kind of wet feeling to the touch they are very sort of soft and smooth and the shimmery ones definitely work better with your fingers but obviously for the matte shades I'm going to be using brushes so let me zoom you guys in a bit so I'm going to be taking that shade on a Morphe M505 which is my favorite kind of crease brush I'm just going to be basically running that through the crease I have used this shade before as well and this shade actually performed really really nice it did blend out quite evenly whereas the other one was a tiny bit patchy so as I said, I don't really know what I'm doing yet. I'm just going to kind of wing it and then see what we end up with. I do realise as well that I'm quite late to the game with filming this video because I've seen that like a few other people have posted videos about this already. But I still wanted to get it up because you guys all know how much of a Charlotte Tilbury fan I am. So I couldn't not film this video, really, could I? So I am actually taking that kind of all the way into the inner corner to kind of put it through the whole crease. I was going to keep it more in the outer corner, but I decided to take it sort of a little bit more in. And then I'm just going to kind of blend that all out. 
With palettes like this, I do wish that they had slightly more matte shades, like it only has two matte shades, so if you're just going to be using one palette, it's quite hard to create a whole look with just two matte shades in my opinion, but that's just a personal preference. I get where she's going with the palette, and it's really nice because it's something a lot different for her. But her eyeshadow cords are already also shimmery, so it would have been nice to see something a little bit kind of different, like a little bit more matte shades or something like that, because she's always done so shimmery eyeshadows, which she's kind of known for. But I just, I'm a matte eyeshadow lover, so for me, I would just prefer there to be more mattes in the palette, but that is just a personal preference. So it's actually blended out really nicely. I'm just going to take a clean brush and just slightly blend the edges. Not that it really needs it, but I always like to do this just to make sure it's extra blended. Now I'm just going to take a, another clean brush. This is the Zoeva 228 Lux Crease Brush. And I'm just going to be taking the other matte shade in the palette, which is the red shade here. This is the one that I was saying I used before and it went slightly patchy. So I'm going to use it in a slightly different way today. So I'm just going to press that on the kind of outer corner of the eye. And I'm really going to focus this colour just in the outer corner. Because I don't want it to be too, too dark in the inner corner of my eye. just going to go back in with the first brush we use and just blend those two shades together. It actually looks really nice. I'm actually quite impressed today. I don't know what happened the other day when I tried to use this red shade. It just went so patchy, but maybe I didn't set my concealer properly and it kind of clung to the concealer maybe. I don't know. So now I think I'm just going to put a kind of colour in the inner corner and the lid. To be honest, the palette isn't really speaking to me. I don't really know which colour I want to use. So I'm going to take a MAC 242, which is kind of like a flatter, fluffy brush. And I'm going to take some MAC Fix Plus and I'm just going to spray the brush. And I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is the gold shade. I have a feeling that this isn't going to come out the way I want it to because some of the shades in here are quite wishy-washy. But I'm going to try my best to make it work and put that on the inner corner of the eye. Oh, okay. That's not wishy-washy at all, it's actually really nice. So I've almost kind of created like a faux cut crease with that. I've kind of just taken it like as if this was a cut crease, but obviously it's not. I actually really love that gold shade, it looks really nice. I'm just going to take a little bit more red and I'm just going to basically press it on the outer corner just to make it a little bit darker and also just to connect the two colours so that it doesn't look not blended. There is a little bit of fallout on my cheek, I don't know whether you can see it there. There is a little bit of fallout because these are quite powdery eyeshadows, I will say. They do kind of give you a little bit of fallout and they are quite powdery, which is something to know if you don't like powdery eyeshadows. I kind of want to go in with the black and try the black a little bit. So yeah, this is the black shade here. It's kind of got a tiny bit of sparkle in that I don't really think you're going to be able to see on camera. You could probably see it just a tiny bit there. I'm just going to take this fluffy brush and I'm just going to dip into the black. And I'm just going to basically use that right on the outer corner there. I kind of feel like I did a look like this quite recently, didn't I? Can I not be so basic and just do the same thing every single time? Yeah, I definitely did a look like this um, that's quite similar to this recently. I didn't actually plan to do it again. I'm really sorry about that. It's not unique. So I'm just going back in with that brush that we used to apply the red and just making sure that the black is all nice and blended. I want it to be quite smoky. I don't want it to be too harsh. So I'm just going to take a small brush and go into the first brown shade we used. I'm just going to put that underneath my lower lash line. And now I'm just going to mix a bit of the red and the black together on that same brush. And I'm just going to put that on the kind of outer third of my lower lash line. And what I'm going to do is I've got a little bit of concealer left on this flat brush. And I'm just going to take that and kind of draw a little line so that I sort of clean up underneath my eye a little bit. It's gone a little bit messy, which happens to me quite a lot. So if you just take a sort of like leftover concealer brush, don't put any more product on there, but just sort of like lightly tap over, you can get a lot more of a crisp line. There is so much product in my eyeball right now. You know like when you have a dusty eyeshadow and it just flicks up into your eyeball? So I currently can't see. Oh, 
Now I'm going to take the lightest shade in the palette, which is this shade here, and I'm just going to basically put that on a small brush in the inner corner of my eye just to brighten everything up. Right, so this is a close-up of what the eye makeup looks like. Obviously, I haven't finished the other eye or done mascara or anything yet, but just so that you can see the actual shadows and how they look. Yeah, I think it came out quite pretty. It's definitely not my favourite eyeshadow that I've ever used, but nevertheless, it still looks quite cute. So I'm just going to jump off camera really quickly. I'm going to do the other eye, maybe put some lashes on. I don't know yet. I'm going to see how my mascara turns out and then maybe put some lashes on, maybe do a winged liner, and then I'm going to come back to show you the new lip glosses. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, so I've done both both eyes as you can see overall question of would I recommend the palette yes I would um, however it is 55 pounds so it is quite an expensive palette and I do think that it is lovely it is a really nice palette it's got a really nice color scheme if you're into your kind of shimmers and everything like that it is a nice palette but there are better palettes available for this price point so yeah so yeah I'm not completely in love with this and I don't think it's going to be something that I reach for on kind of like an everyday basis or all the time but it's a nice product to have in my collection I will use it it's just not my favorite so I'll probably give it like a six or seven out of ten so yeah I'm going to move on to lips now I'm just going to quickly line my lips with the usual pillow talk lip liner I actually really need to get a new one of these because my one is running really low um but yeah I'm just going to slightly over on my lips and then I'm going to apply one of the latex what are they called latex love lips as well So as I said, the colours that I picked up were Berry Nude and Belle de Soir. These are kind of like more nude sort of colours. So this one is Berry Nude and this one is Belle de Soir. Berry Nude is actually very similar to kind of Pillow Talk colour, but obviously in a gloss. And then the Belle de Soir is quite pale, more sort of like, if you're familiar with Bitch Perfect from Charlotte Tilbury, I would say it's more sort of similar to that shade. So I'll just quickly swatch them for you on my hand. These lip glosses, just to sort of describe the texture to you, are very... Very highly pigmented, um, quite thick, rich, almost virgin on sticky lip glosses. So they're almost as if a lip gloss and a lipstick was combined. Um, they are very long lasting. I do actually really like these. I have tried them before. I haven't tried on Belle de Soir, but I tried on the Berry Nude the other day and I absolutely love the colour of this. And also it stayed on my lips for so long, so much longer than a normal gloss. So I really actually really like these. Um, so this one here is the Berry Nude and this is the Belle de Soir. So yeah, they're both really beautiful shades and I love how long lasting they are. I just love it. Like they really do last on the lips. I'm going to go in with the more nude one today, which is Belle de Soir, just because I haven't tried this one out before. So I really want to see what it looks like on. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. It is quite pale, this shade. So I usually go for like more shades like Berry Nude because they're slightly dark. I have quite dark lips, so... I feel like they look better on me, but I do really want to try this one out. I will say with these, um, I would make sure that you've exfoliated and hydrated your lips before you apply them because they are the type of formula where they are going to show every patch of dry skin on your lips if your lips aren't like perfectly smooth. So I do have quite dry lips just in general, but today my lips are quite dry. And yeah, you can really see the dry patches on my lips with this gloss. So you do need to make sure your lips are quite hydrated and scrubbed. But other than that, that colour is actually really nice. So yeah, they do kind of feel a little bit sticky. They are the type of gloss where if a gust of wind blows, your hair is getting stuck and cemented into your lips. But I actually really love the formula um, and I love the way they look on the lips. So yeah, these retail for £25 each. I think there's six shades or eight shades in the collection. And again, these are limited editions. So if you do want them, you need to pick them up kind of fast because they're going to sell out. I would just quickly add though, they do have a weird smell and a taste. Um, the smell is supposed to be white tea, I believe. But to me, it just tastes like mud, like, like dirt. Like I don't know how to explain it. Like the only way I can explain it and how I explained it to my friend is, you know when you eat a potato, like if you've cooked potatoes, like new potatoes or something, and they've still got a little bit of mud on them and you can kind of taste the mud, that's kind of like what the lips taste like. So they're kind of like, yeah, I don't know about the taste and the smell. It's kind of weird to me. I do get used to it after a few minutes, but when you first put it on, you're a bit like, 
oh my god like yeah it tastes like dirt so that is just something to know i would definitely recommend giving these a smell before you buy them right so now on to the most exciting part of the video which is obviously the huge charlotte tilbury giveaway so i have kept all of the products in this little box here i've been collecting these for quite a while now as i said this is around 300 pounds i think it's just under 300 pounds um worth of charlotte tilbury products so yeah i'm not a big youtube channel i don't earn you know a lot of money off of youtube yet so this took me a little while to put together for you guys i am actually expecting a delivery today for two other products for the giveaway so there are two products that aren't actually here for me to physically show you but i am going to be including them in the giveaway anyway just need to get this video filmed because i think the delivery is not coming until a little bit later on in the afternoon so yeah i'm going to tell you about that anyway so i asked you guys a few of the products that you wanted to see uh, featured in the giveaway and thank you for those who commented back I did take note um, of what you guys said and what you wanted to see in the giveaway so what I've put in the giveaway is actually the complete pillow talk look so if you win the giveaway you are going to be getting the pillow talk lipstick which is a classic for Charlotte Tilbury this is the matte revolution pillow talk lipstick you are also going to be getting the pillow talk lip liner that is one of the products that I'm waiting for to be delivered today so obviously you're not going to get this old one that I've been using loads you're going to get a brand new one you are also going to be getting the pillow talk palette which is one of my favourite eyeshadow palettes from her at the moment. So yeah, this is the new eyeshadow quad. It is currently out of stock, I think in most places and online. So you can't actually get your hands on this at the moment. So yeah, that is going to be in the giveaway along with the Pillow Talk blush as well. I am also going to be giving away the Magic Powder because I really enjoy using this. It's kind of like a translucent powder, a loose one with a little bit of kind of light reflecting particles in there. So it's really nice for under the eyes. And if you don't like a really sort of matte look to the skin, so that is going to be part of the giveaway as well. And I'm also going to be throwing in two of the uh, Colour Chameleons. These are the eyeshadow crayons that you can use as a base or on their own for eyeshadows this shade is in the shade black diamonds and then i have also put in there the champagne diamonds as well so champagne diamonds is like a really nice kind of obviously as the name would suggest a champagne shade it's quite glittery it's really nice for the inner corner and for sort of more like highlighting on the eye and then this one as the name would suggest as well is basically a black crayon with a few specks of like silver glitter running through it it's really beautiful i just thought for these two shades um, they would be nice for kind of anyone and everyone to use because they're kind of black and white if that makes sense. I am also going to be popping in the giveaway a light to medium bronze and glow which is like one of my favourite contour and highlight palettes. I've got it sort of here today so I have used it today as my contour not my highlight but I did use it to contour so that is going to be part of the giveaway as well and then last but not least we have a pot of the magic cream so this is my favourite moisturiser that I literally use every single day. I can't live without it. This is her best selling product so that is also going to be in the giveaway as well. Rules and how to enter the giveaway are i'm going to put them in the description box below as well but number one thing is that you have to be subscribed to my youtube channel so if you haven't already you need to click that subscribe button below you need to like the video and also comment in the video um reasons why you would like to win the giveaway you can comment sort of one time a day please don't comment more than once a day so i'm going to leave the giveaway open for about a week and a half possibly so possibly about 10 days just to give everyone a chance to sort of enter if they wish to at the moment i'm just going to leave this for the UK audience only I'm afraid so it's just open to UK people only and if you're under the age of 16 then just please make sure of your parents that you're allowed to enter and that I can send you the products. I will be announcing the winner of the giveaway on my Instagram as I said in about 10 days to two weeks so if you wanted to go and follow me on Instagram as well it's in the description box below it's just maggie underscore nowers so I'm going to be putting it on my insta stories um the name of the YouTube account that has won. Yeah if you don't end up seeing it that's absolutely fine i'm going to find a way of sort of contacting you anyway so that's absolutely fine so yeah good luck to everyone who enters i wish you all the best of luck i will be doing more giveaways in the future as well so if you don't win this one then there will be more coming on my channel as well so that is the end of the video guys if you did enjoy the video please give it a like and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye